Buongiorno ragazzoli miei, bentornati su MMA Italia. Il trash talk ha portato tanta notorietà all'MMA. Le provocazioni, gli insulti, i comportamenti sopra le righe hanno attirato tanti nuovi tifosi in questo meraviglioso sport. Il trash talk ha contribuito a rendere ricchi alcuni fighter, creando un interesse enorme su eventi diventati di rilevanza planetaria. Oltre all'aspetto economico, in alcune occasioni le provocazioni hanno dato un effettivo vantaggio psicologico al trash talker, portando la vittima a compiere errori, esporsi troppo e perdere. In altre occasioni però il trash talk non ha avuto l'effetto psicologico desiderato, come nel caso di Kamaru Usman, che oltre a rispondere per le rime a tutti i suoi avversari fuori dall'ottagono, è riuscito a mantenere la calma, a conquistare il titolo e poi difenderlo nonostante le voci, i dubbi e le provocazioni che gli alleggiavano intorno. A pochi giorni dalla terza difesa del titolo welter UFC di Kamaru Usman contro Gilbert Burns, ho raccolto tre esempi pratici di quando il trash talk non va come dovrebbe. You better, Dana, you better not come sure. at 30%. If you come at 30%, they're going to need the ambulance. Said that before, they ate the canvas. They ate the canvas. And the referee was coming to peel listen, me off. Listen, listen. Of. People have you knocked out in your career. Same huh? as you, six? No. No, don't, don't fool yourself, brother. How many you have? Don't fool yourself. How many you have? How many, how many Nick KOs, TKOs I, you have? How many people conscious How many take stole? KOs, TKOs you, you have? You none. Bruh. Marty, you I'm hey, your mentor. Bi- hey. Hey, listen. You talk, you're talking back to your mentor right now. <laughs> hey, it don't matter. You could, hey, you could feel like a big brother all you want, but at some point, big brother got to get their ass whooped, too. How about you? That doesn't happen. Now, about you? I haven't seen a person on the roster to do it yet. You ain't going to be the one, bro. You don't even believe that yourself. Like, it, it's, you want to be so cool. You want to sound like LL Cool J. You don't even believe it yourself. I don't believe it. You don't even believe hey, it yourself. Hey, you believe it, though. Hey, you believe it. You don't even you believe, believe it. Yourself. You know deep down inside. Don't you know deep I, down inside. I'm taking that strap. Mar- Mar- you know deep don't down. Don't think I'm I forgot what you strap. said to me. Hey, Tyron, how did it feel when Dana first wrapped that belt around you? Yeah. I said you'll know one day, but not this. Not while I'm in it. Oh. Not while I'm. That's what you said to me. Will be the day. Come on, what you gonna do better than me? Everything. You gonna, you gonna wrestle me? Everything. If we get in the octagon and I can throw no punches, Everything. no knees, no takedowns, no submission, I would kick your ass and just wrestle flat out. When it come down to striking, I would knock you out flat out. When it come Word. down to grappling, I would break your arm flat out. There's that, nothing you can bring beat that energy. In. I'm March faster second, bring than that you, energy. I'm stronger than you, and I promise you, if you come at less than 100, March second, bring that energy. You would think about, you would reconsider fighting every bring that day energy. of your life. I hey, and let your that. cheerleader back. Tenderize all your opponents for you. I wrote the book on how to beat Damian Maya. You should thank me. You should give really? me a percentage of you should give me a percentage of your purse. Really? <laughs> we what I'm trying to say is go into a fight when people look at Kamar Usman, we all go into they a don't fight look at him something. like, damn, how the hell did that guy do that? That's what they that's what they think when they think of me. Be the Kamar, day. what you gonna do better than me? Everything. You gonna, you gonna wrestle me? Everything. If we get in the octagon and I can throw no punches, Everything. no knees, no takedowns, no submission. I would kick your ass and just wrestle flat out. When it come down to striking, I would knock you out flat out. When it come Word. down to grappling, I would break your arm flat out. There's that, nothing you can bring beat that energy. me in. I'm March faster 2nd, than bring you. That energy. I'm stronger than you. And I promise you, if you come at less than 100%, March 2nd, bring that energy. you would think about, you would reconsider fighting every day in your life. I hey, let your cheerleader back. You feel like a big brother all you want, but at some point, big brother got to get their ass whooped too. How about you? That doesn't happen. Now about you. I haven't seen a person on the roster to do it yet. You ain't going to be the one, bro. You Marty, stop talking, man. Pay per view when pay per view buys are going out the window I when think you talk, the man. Just spoke. Stop talking. Yeah, because after I already beat him, he beat guys that he, were left for dead. Rafael dos Anjos, Damian Ma, I left them for dead. He came and picked up the scraps after me. He's really? a joke. He's nobody. Really? He's following in my footsteps. If I make a sandwich tomorrow, he's going to try and make the sandwich the same way. Um, you know, he's not impressive. He sucks at fighting. And December 14th, I'm going to expose him. Marty, fake news, man. Well, I don't want to wait till November 2nd, Madison Square, do it. It's Madison Square Garden. We can do it tonight. We can do it right now. Where are you at? The Obviously only thing you're losing drop. faster than your hairline your is that Power drop. Ranger belt. Marty Fake Newsman, the end of your time is over now, buddy. 
And this is on the king of spoilers. This is what's going to happen tomorrow night. You see Marty Fake Newsman's ugly smug? I'm going to bounce it off the canvas, and I'm going to kick it into the third row. And maybe one of you lucky virgins will be able to catch it. You just had the face off with Kamaru. What did you say to him up there? I told him what happened to his hairline. You know, that hairline is 30% gone. You know, he's only got 30% left. And I also told him his mom wanted his bed sheets back. And uh, did he say anything back to you? Nah, he was just smiled, but I could see that he's starting to get nervous. Now he's realizing that on Saturday night he's going to let the whole world down and no one's going to care about him anymore. Marty, you can still pull out. It's not too late for you to pull out now. You're already a coward. The world knows you're a coward, so show up, get your ass whooped, embarrass in front of the whole world, back out, be a coward. But I'll be your daddy on December 14th. Marty Fake Newsman, the end of your time is over now, buddy. And it says, I'm the king of spoilers. This is what's going to happen tomorrow night. You see Marty Fake Newsman's ugly smug? I'm going to bounce it off the canvas, and I'm going to kick it into the third row. And maybe one of you lucky virgins will be able to catch Show up, get your ass whooped, embarrass in front of the whole world, back out, be a coward, but at least still have your pride. But don't worry, I'm going to be your daddy on December 14th. But Usman's gonna get baptized, man. You know, I don't really like this individual, so why not get paid and F up somebody I don't like? We're not in the same playing field with the skill level, man. We're not, we haven't been since we were in the gym as kids, and we're not definitely now. But the only way I could show that is when I get my hands on Usman, so I'll just wait till that day comes. But if you're asking me from a technical standpoint, we're not in the same playing field when it comes to stand up, and he knows it. That, that man can never look me in the eyes and say, I, I would stand with you. He's gonna immediately magnetize on my crotch and, and do what he does you know avoid the fight at all costs but we're ready for that another thing i'll say while all the press is here usman's coaches they were in his corner for his last fight sparring partners all that stuff is my graduating class from american top team i think a lot of you might have known the black zillions they're no longer with us but they were a part of att they used to be with us so a lot of those coaches that he has in his corner right now are the same dudes that are telling him don't fight that guy, bro. He's going to fuck you up, man. We know who that guy is. You know who you are. Fake the injury when the time comes because this one's not going your way. And that's that's really the main reason why he doesn't like to address me because he knows, man, this shit is for real. But Usman's going to get baptized, man. You know, I don't really like this individual. So why not get paid and F up somebody I don't like? We're not in the same playing field with the skill level, man. We're not. We haven't been since we were in the gym as kids, and we're not definitely now. But the only way I could show that is when I get my hands on Usman. So I'll just wait till that day comes. But if you're asking me from a technical standpoint, we're not in the same playing field when it comes to stand up, and he knows it. That that man can never look me in the eyes and say, I, I would stand with you. He's going to immediately magnetize on my crotch and, and do what he does, you know, avoid the fight at all costs. But we're ready for that. Don't fight that guy, bro. He's going to fuck you up, man. We know who that guy is. You know who you are. Fake the injury when the time comes because this one's not going your way. And that's that's really the main reason why he doesn't like to address me because he knows, man, this shit is for real. But Usman's going to get baptized, man. You know, I don't really like this individual. So why not get paid and F up somebody I don't like? We're not in the same playing field with the skill level, man. We're not. We haven't been since we were in the gym as kids, and we're not definitely now. But the only way I could show that is when I get my hands on Usman. So I'll just wait till that day comes.